Hey everybody, welcome back to another Destiny 2 PvP video. Today we're going to be trying out a little combo that just got, well, I, won't, I was going to say buffed, but it really just got activated in Crucible. It's going to be the Battle Harmony. I'm actually not going to start out with it because it doesn't really do much for you. Um, you know what? I'll switch to it because I think you do get your super energy a little bit as well now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, it's a little low light and I'm in Iron Banner, but I don't think it'll matter too much. Opponent claimed zone A. Let's see if we can get old pick out of here. So I got that energy cycle in the corner. That should be me getting some Opponent claimed zone B. Uh, super energy. Oof, that grenade wrecked him. Yeah, so I'm going to be missing my transversives a little here, and I guess that's a good segue into, like, I don't think it's that great, but it is um, possible to use this Igneous on Dawn Blade when you have your super, and it will give you that damage bonus that it allows you to two-tap. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, ooh, you got me right before I got that. I have a... Pretty much god roll for me, except for I got Celerity instead of Rampage. This exotic, if I just hold on to a super, makes that uh, god roll, and then I pretty much have uh, Rampage. The flames have gone so it's kind of cool. Um, energy Siphon. I don't know exactly how worth it that is. We can see it like bump me up there. I think I'm already pretty high resilience though, and I think the way it works. Is it literally just boost your resilience stat rather than like give you a certain amount of So I think I could be running uh lower intellect actually to get a better benefit out of this. But uh this is post nerf uh stasis crucible. And, I mean, I've gotten frozen a couple times. I think people are still testing it out and stuff. But I don't feel like it's that bad. I think they did some good jobs with the nerfs. Uh, I don't think I've faced that many behemoths, actually. So, uh, it's hard to say how those super changes really feel yet, probably for me. But... I'm happy with what they did. I think my only complaint really left is the accuracy penalty with uh, slow. But with everything else getting nerfed, it might be okay with me, honestly. I think it's like kind of unfun game design, really, but... Oh, okay, so I'm getting uh, the Rampage proc now when I get a fire weapon kill with my fire super on. Pretty interesting exotic. Oh, I was gonna try to just clean up that one guy, but I don't want to sit in a SMG fire. That's for sure. Uh, I, you know, off the top of my head, I can't remember how long base rampage lasts. I think it's like four seconds. So this is actually like a little bit worse than regular rampage. Oh man, I think it could use a buff still. Um, it, it, they literally just like let it work this time around, but I think the usefulness is pretty limited. Like you have to be using an energy primary, it has to match your subclass, which you know, Warlocks probably gets the best deal. Uh, actually I really like Sunbreaker on Titan. Golden Gun's not terrible, but uh, maybe it'll get more time to shine. I'm just getting really unlucky with these uh, damage boosts right now. Alright, what a freeze there. It does seem like uh, the Shade Binder is really good again. Um, it's probably like maybe top tier now that Dawnblade has kind of lost its very specific nice shots. Now that Dawnblade's lost its like hard counter to. Hey, finally got it to proc. Hard counter to stasis status. I mean, it's not, I guess it didn't really lose it, it's just stasis is weaker. I think that does hurt Dawnblade as like top warlock class. I think you can see people running a Shade Binder in trials soon. Zone C captured. Opponent claimed zone A. So I guess the real way to judge this exotic is 
is the number of kills I get with this rampage stack. Oh no, we're all gonna die. Is the number of kills I get with this rampage, you know, fake rampage buffs on gonna like counteract the amount of like two or three supers I would have gotten those kills? And I, I, I would be hard to be convinced to uh, that that's true. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I got out of there. I mean, Rampage is good, especially on 120s, but better than having two supers in a game? Uh, I've been probably saying no. This game is running away from us a little bit. I'm gonna stay here and help cap, because I don't know if I trust this guy to cap. Pro tip, if you're getting hunted, just like, don't push. <laughs> you can just sit in your spawn, it's fine. You're, you're not gonna kill like four people when they kill one so i probably got like two rampage proc kills uh, there's definitely other people in the game i could do better than this but i just don't think it's really worth it man it's so conditional if it was like always rampage for you if you had your super on then like it'd be first of all insanely powerful but i think the uh limitation with the fact that you have to get the kill first and with the same element as your subclass it just doesn't feel like balanced it just doesn't feel like an exotic really it's like it's like mildly cool at best still pretty did pretty well and we actually won that game which is kind of crazy to me really good comeback by the squad there but yeah mantle battle harmony i uh rate it pretty low still gonna be hard to get me away from transversives or geomags or fidians like there's just a lot of really good exotics that help you all the time rather than just very situationally so um you know that's my review not my favorite still could use a small buff maybe just a longer uh timer on the damage buff could be cool like rampage spec time maybe i don't know let me know what you guys think, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. See ya.